tighten these up. Yeah, you've lost a few pairs of pants yeah. doing this before. <laughs> Probably the most famous dive site in Menorca. Scurry down the rocks here, jump in, and what I'm most worried about is actually being able to climb out of the water. Cuba is probably the best in the world because you can find just the most absolute craziest thing. I'm Nate. Join us on an adventure as we dive, sail, and explore this big blue planet Earth. yet another very beautiful morning and I'm just whipping up some eggs real quick we're about to go for another sail with um, Riley and Elena and all the crew over on La Vagabond so we're pretty excited about that not sure exactly what the plan is but hopefully um, there'll be a little bit of wind today it's been really calm which has been great for diving and just enjoying the island but La Vagabond is a super high performance cat and it would be really cool to actually see what she can do out on the water, but I don't know, it looks pretty dang calm out there. I don't really feel any wind, but you never know. Sometimes we're in this super protected harbor here. So if you get out, um, you can be surprised at times at what the wind is actually doing out there. So fingers crossed. It's been really fun getting to meet um, some of the other patrons who are on board. It's a really fun group of people and um, we've just been having a really great time together. So I'm sure that regardless of the conditions, it's going to be another glorious day. Let's do this. This is like the perfect, beautiful day. Not much wind, but we're I yeah. think we're cruising like five knots. I don't know now. We were before. Yeah, and we might be going we might have slowed now. down. But we're not really in a, a rush. Leisurely pace. Yeah. It's beautiful. Good crew on the boat. Yeah, yeah. We got we got the Germans. We got the <laughs> we got the Brits. We got the Aussies. We got the annoying Americans. We've got it all on this boat, man. <laughs> Christian, what do you think about the day so far? It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect sailing, it's really relaxed. It's like light breeze and the boat is doing really good speed. It's amazing, we have like a five point uh, something knots of wind and doing almost 4.5 knots of boat speed, which is great. Yeah, it's actually amazing that we're moving yeah, at all because it feels like there's yeah. nothing. And then Riley got the stern set up for one of Nate's favorite pastimes. Gotta tighten these up. Yeah, you've lost a few pairs of pants yeah. doing this before. <laughs> No big deal, just getting pulled through the Mediterranean Sea by La Vagabond. Group for two. Just an everyday situation. Group for two. Alright, I'll come in. Lucky Elena knows what's going on around here. Yeah. <laughs> On engine. Ali's heard his ear the ear, Yeah, the ears the were ear affecting your brain function. Yeah. <laughs> that happens more than you think. Wipe it off on a tile, the light is brighter this time. Everything is 3D blasphemy. The main is down and we are heading into a bay around this is actually a little island right here it's kind of hard to tell from the outside but we're gonna go in there's a couple of different anchorages so we're just gonna kind of scope it out and see which area looks nice and probably park and camp out for a couple hours swim drink a couple beers have some lunch and see where we go from there peter let elena and riley have a go with these cool walkie-talkie headsets that some sailors use to communicate when dropping an anchor picking up a mooring 
or any task that requires you to try and communicate with someone on the opposite end of the boat. Now it's Thanks, truly awesome. the command center. Oh, uh, there's like a you twiddle can't. thing on the side. You have to listen to me forever. <laughs> really, really loudly. Like the voice from above. Is that like a common thing that people use a lot or? I've never seen them I before, think more but... and more, yeah, because you know, there's an awful lot of shouting goes on. On yeah. this boat, there's not that far between the helm and the anchor, but yeah. on a lot of boats, you've either got like a bulkhead in the way or it's just a long distance. Yeah, or if it's like super windy or... Yeah, and most people have a kind of, some kind of signaling system, but... Yeah, why not, right? We just really like this. Can you please pull both the uh, dagger boards up? <laughs> cool, do you want me to do one of those? Roger that. patch of sand. Don't downplay it. It's not a patch of sand. It's an entire private island just for us. <laughs> you can see the boat from here. It's right there. So it's actually it's a good that's kind of far. That was a decent little swim. Over here, this is the actual island of Menorca. Over here, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but this is actually its own island right behind us. It's called Ile de Camon, I think. Should we swim back? Yeah. Sure. All right, let's go. Getting in should be pretty entertaining because it's very shallow for kind of a long ways and it's super slippery so you kind of have to <laughs> monkey crawl out. So don't judge me if it's not very graceful. I'm going to do my best though. Oh, there's like, there's like tons of um, teeny snails or crabs or something over here. Look, come see. Oh, it's like little crabs. After hours of swimming and talking story, we pulled up the anchor to head back to the marina. Sailing on the Vagabond was like a dream, and I couldn't help but feel so inspired by the lives that Riley and Elena had worked so hard to create for themselves. On the way back, I caught myself daydreaming about what it will be like when we have our own boat one day. <laughs> you guessed it. It's time for scoop. <laughs> we were up a little later than we should have been, partying uh, with Elena and Riley, and uh, especially up later than we should be when we know we're going scuba diving the next day. Anyway, we are going to attempt to go do a really cool dive site today, uh, underwater bubble cave type thing with stalactites. It's uh, supposedly the most uh, famous dive on the island. Mm. Let's go scuba diving. We 
We left the marina right here in Mahon, then cruised our way across the island towards Ciutadela. We had been there a couple days before to try and do this same dive, but we needed to rent tanks and the dive shop in the town was closed. So instead, we did a quick lap around the historical hub of the island. We decided to come up to the Ciutadela. And the area that we're in now, it's known for its really cool um, Gothic architecture. And it was a really important um, port city back in the day. So we're gonna go just kind of walk around and see all the sights and sounds and have a grand old time. Walking through these city streets felt like being transported to another time. In the U.S., most of the cities and towns are pretty new in the grand scheme of things. So for us, walking through this labyrinth of some of the most beautiful and haunting buildings felt foreign, but so fascinating. After that, we decided that as long as we were all the way over here, we might as well go scope out the dive site, since we had heard mixed reports about the hike down. We're here at an area called Pont de Gilles, and it's a dive site that it's probably the most famous dive site in Menorca, and it's known for its cool topography. It's a cave, and you go inside, and then you can surface, and it's full of stalactites and slagmites, and it sounds really awesome, and we're really excited to do it. But we're here today just kind of scoping out the location and seeing we've heard it is a little bit of a mission to get down there. And whoever told us that is right. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty damn sketchy to me from what I can tell. So it looks like you just kind of scurry down the rocks here, jump in. And what I'm most worried about is actually being able to climb out of the water. Um, you swim towards that big arch and then apparently you go through the arch and then to the left and once you're there, it's not too hard to find. It's just a matter of getting down there and getting yourself back out. There's a lot of aspects of scuba diving that I think I'm pretty brave and I'll try a lot of crazy shit. But the one thing that freaks me out, not just with diving, but in general, is I'm not good with heights. I get really scared climbing any kind of like rock walls, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm definitely nervous. Nate's not worried about it at all. He's a little spider monkey. But um, yeah, I think it'll be worth it. And I'm glad we came today to kind of see. Oh, Nate's gone. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely glad we came to kind of scope it out and see what we're getting ourselves into um, and make sure that we're going the right way because it's quite a long walk. It's about a 20 minute walk to get here. And in all your scuba gear and all your weights and tanks, it can really add up. So we want to make sure we at least know where we're going before we get here and try and conserve as much uh, energy as we can. We just got all of our gear ready and now we're about to throw on the tanks and begin what could be a little bit of a mission of a walk um, down in our wetsuits and all of our gear. So hopefully we don't have a heat stroke on the way over. And yeah, we've been trying to do this dive for about a week now, so we're really excited for it. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful. We have our friend Christian with us, who was another um, patron from joining us on the trip, meeting up with Sailing the Vagabond. And so we're excited to have a dive buddy with us. It's fun to take somebody along and kind of show them uh, what we enjoy doing most. So um, yeah, let's do this. If you find this footage and you find us passed out somewhere having a heat stroke, then please return us to the marina in Mahon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello world, it's Jordan here. I'm all snuggled up and cozy in my shark onesie. And I just wanted to say a quick hello. We've had quite a few new subscribers this week. So I wanted to say welcome to our channel and thank you so much for coming to check us out. If you're new here and you're wondering what's going on, who's this crazy scuba couple with matching hairdos, and what sailboat are they on now, then I invite you to check out um, one of our past videos. It's episode 26 and you can kind of find out who we are and how we got into sailing and kind of how that all ties into the future. It's a really personal episode and I think you guys would really enjoy it. So if you keep watching for about 30 more seconds, um, that video will pop up on the end screen. Otherwise, if you simply cannot wait another moment and you have to watch it right now, then I've also put a link to that video in the description below. Last but not least, I would like to give a, another huge shout out and endless thanks to Riley and Elena for having us on board. If you have ever thought about becoming a patron of theirs, then this video is pretty much a 20 minute infomercial about why it is totally worth it. So we're really happy and we're really proud to continue to support them on their journey. But anyways, have a fantastic day and we will see you again very soon. Catch us next time as we zip around the island by scooter. Then we take to the seas again on board La Vagabond and wedge ourselves into some tiny caves with Riley and Elena. <laughs>